morning guys welcome to today's video remember yesterday when i was breaking we had no snow and it was january well january 2nd the snow arrived you guys january 2nd we woke up to snow and sam's down there with his tractor i don't actually know what he's doing down there I think he was snow yeah he was getting rid of all the snow i think oh so welcome to today, the snowiest day. I think that means I can ride Penny outside now. Now that the ground has a cushion on top of it, I think I can ride her. I'm a little nervous to ride in the snow, but I'm excited to learn it and I feel adventurous today. So let's see if that can happen. So guess who ripped their blanket to bits? Front and back. <laughs> Storm. Ruby's like, give me some of that bagel. I just got a message from a girl at the barn. She took Storm's blanket off. She said that he ripped it. She sent me a picture, ripped it again at the front and at the back. So basically, I feel it and it's warmer out today. Uh, we're going to the barn and, and we're gonna change their blankets today. It's a bit warmer and I swear when he gets hot, he tries to rip out of his blankets. I think that's the problem. I found that if we double up two small blankets, he does great. So once we put that big heavy blanket on him, like he's destroyed every blanket that we've put on him this year. Okay, so Sam and I are headed out already. We're headed out already. Like we literally just got cleaned up. Sam just got the driveway done. Like I'm so glad to have a husband that does the driveway as soon as he wakes up. I'm so glad to have a husband that helps us with the horses. We do the horses usually, the girls and I, like five days a week. Sam does them two days a week or on holidays. So Sam's taking Gabby to the barn, but before he goes, I want him to take me to the grocery store because Today's the day that we're gonna start eating healthy again, you guys. We let it go for about two weeks over the whole Christmas holidays, and oh my gosh, I swear, I gained five pounds. Do you feel like you gained any pounds? No. <laughs> I feel like he might have gained some pounds. I can tell by how he snores at night. The more weight he gains, the more he snores. The more weight he loses, the less he snores. Which, which translates to, if he keeps me awake with his snoring, the more weight he gains, the grouchier I get because I'm not getting enough sleep. The more weight he loses, the happier I am because I get more sleep. See, see my point here, Sam? Happy wife lose weight. Got it? Yeah. All right, so I got some salads, I got some tacos, I got some carrots. I just remember something I have to tell you guys. This is so important. If you don't remember anything from the, today's video, remember this. All right, so without going into a lot of detail about how YouTube works, basically, in January, YouTube stops pushing channels to other people because the the ad uh, people because companies don't place as many ads starting in January all the way up till December. It's all good, but then in January, YouTube stops pushing channels to people. So if you're not subscribed, then you're not gonna probably see our videos in your news feed hardly ever. Like if you actually want to watch our videos each day, you have to subscribe and you have to push the notification bell um, to assure that you get our daily videos pushed to your to your box. Right now, a 70% of the views that we get on our videos are from people who are not subscribed. Isn't that crazy? So anyways, everybody got emails from YouTube in the last couple of days saying that to remind people if you want to get notified starting in January um, to make sure you subscribe and push the bell. You guys know that I don't uh, remind you to subscribe every single day because I believe that having a few friends that care about you and are invested in you are so much better than having millions of friends and I don't know if that makes any sense to you but I love the quality of my friendships over the volume of my friendships and I value you all so but for right now if you do want to get notified of our current video or of our next videos make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification that's the only thing you can do to try and um, make sure that you stay in the loop. Okay, so um, before Sam takes you guys to the to the barn with him, I want to tell you guys something that Sophie and I have learned. Okay, Sophie, I have to tell you something that I've learned. So I knew this, but I've learned it on a whole different level. We got two puppies this year. We got two puppies. One is so smart like Gabby. She learns so fast. Like you just start to think about something and she's like, oh, I got it. I figured it out. And then uh, we got another puppy and it's more like me and Sophie. Sophie and I need to take things in, think about it, figure it out. It takes us a little while to learn stuff, right? Right. So who's like you and me? Watch. One of my eyes looks like really black and one bright. Probably from the light. So which one of us, which one of our dogs is more like you and me? Um, Daisy's more like 
me and you. Yeah, she is. And so she's five months old now and she's like really getting the hang of the potty training and she's really starting to get a, a hang of the training. And so many people keep sending us advice like you need to do this and you need to do that. But Daisy doesn't learn the same way as a molly like a lot of those things work so good if you good get her in trouble she sucks up to you or just runs around yeah she's a totally different kind of dog and i think just like with kids we need to keep in mind that not all dogs are created equal and not all kids are created equal and we need to do what works for that specific dog Can not I just my dog in? not just a broad spectrum thing okay because my dog refuses to come in so so yeah. sophie's dog will still go to the bathroom in the house but she always runs to the door. Don't let her dig a hole. She will always run to the door. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Don't fail me now. I've been bragging that you're learning. Come on. Come on, Daisy. She's trying to dig a hole to get out of that pen. Get to it. Get to it. Come on. Get to it. Yay. <laughs> but she will literally go and sit in front of the door and she, she's not a noisy dog. She just sits there and is quiet as anything, I mean, looks around and if nobody notices that she's at the door, then she goes to the bathroom. But she only goes to the bathroom in front of the door now, which is a big thing. So I told Sophie to try and get her to ring a bell. What happened to the bell? It broke somehow. It got destroyed. They played with the bell and they dragged the bell down and they killed the bell. So the bell is dead. Was it you? You trying to tell me it was you? I think she said it was Daisy. Yeah, she's like, it was Daisy, it wasn't me. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. That, And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I wanted to remind you guys that none of us are created the same. And when I said Gabby is extra smart because she learns things like that, I don't mean that she's extra smart. I mean that she's designed to learn things like that. We are just as smart and we're smart in different ways. Remember that one time when I was good at one thing and Gabby wasn't in the <laughs> <cry>. <laughs> You're not supposed to betray your sister. It was a long time ago. Gabby doesn't cry about that stuff anymore. But what was it? Was algebra. In, yeah, algebra. <laughs> she was in grade seven, mom. Stop it. She was in grade seven. She was in grade eight. I don't care. <laughs> Sophie, tell them all of our secrets. Though. But yeah, it is true. Like, <laughs> one time, one time, Sophie was better <laughs> At something in school than Gabby. And then um, a couple time. day, and then a couple days later, I was dumb at it again. Yeah. Is it okay that you don't learn stuff? It takes you a while to figure things out. Yeah. I don't do that thing for like one day, then I forget it. Yeah. And then I never know how to do it. Again. Yeah. That's the same as me. And it is okay. It is okay to be your own self. Ooh. Why? Because God it gives you the skills you need to live the life you're meant to lead. So if you're at school and you're working and working and working, and it is not coming easy to you, it's because the life that you're gonna lead, the job that you're gonna do is different than what you're learning. So that is what homeschool is all about. It's to help direct the kids into learning about the things that they're good at instead of directing them into learning everything. Anyway, just had to share that. I'm gonna send you guys now, with Gabby and Sam to the barn, but they're both upstairs getting ready. So we'll see you guys back when you get home. I'm here with Gabby at the barn and uh, we gotta go find Storm to put his blankie on. I find Storm and put his blankie on, and then you're bringing who in? Finn. We're riding Finn. I'm gonna ride Finn and put Storm blanket on. So I guess I should bring it out with me, eh? Hopefully, I'll be able to find Storm. Chino blanket. Storm blanket. All right. Let's hope that he's close. I don't see him close. I don't see him close at all. <laughs> Tex is there though. Okay, we don't see them by the herd, but Chino is standing in the woods all by himself. I don't know if you can see, but Chino is hiding in the woods over there. You see him? And I don't see the rest of our horses. They're not with the herd. But look how nice and snowy it is here. Storm's there? All right. We might be in luck. Storm might be there too. Okay, I see Storm down there. All Finn's there too. They're all there. Grab a hold of Storm before he runs off. Oh man, they got a lot of snow here today. Storm, stay. Grab a hold of Storm. He wants to take off again.
Well, you need to get him. I need to put his blanket on. <laughs> and there they go. And there they go, running off into the woods. Hey, Chino, buddy. At least you're nice. Stay. At least you're staying. Good boy. Now I can't see them, but they're in the woods there. Here they come, here they come. Huh? They're coming. Um, here they come. Yeah. Looks like Storm's chasing after Finn. Uh, Chino, are you gonna go run? I'm so happy. Oh, Chino's gonna go run with them now. There you have it. I'm gonna have to put the camera away so I can grab a hold of uh, Storm there because I'll never catch him by myself. So I gotta grab a hold of Storm and throw his blanket on. So I'm gonna put the camera away now. And catch up with you later. I don't know how I'm gonna get Storm's blanket on if he's not gonna come. There they go. Wait till they do laps and get tired and then, then we'll catch them. Here they come. They're cruising. Well, you came back just in time. Storm is taking off. Storm, don't. Oh, there goes Storm again. There they go. There they go. Why is it so hard to get a blanket on? We need to train this Storm again, I think. Train him. Need to train him. Or I'll be spending my whole time catching him. You go ahead, I'll try and catch him. He went running with Tex this time. And there they are. There they go again. He's running with Tex and he's cruising. Yeah, he can actually go faster than Tex. So. Well, he's playing with his friend Tex now and there's going to be no way for me to catch him. So playing together now. I might have to come back tonight and put on his blanket at supper time. Unless I can walk up now and he doesn't do anything. Let's try that. No, it looks like they're taking off again. All right, Finn. At least we caught you, didn't we? We need to like start training you guys to come when we call you. Eh? Hey? Give you some carrots and stuff. So I failed, I tried for 20 minutes to try and get Storm and uh, every time he just ran away. He doesn't want to be blanketed I guess so I might have to come back tonight when, he's, when it's dinner time because then he'll know he wants his grain and put it on him. That's what I gotta do, start training Storm again. The guy's running away all the time, right? Same with you, you want to run away. So the owner just put a new hay, hay bale out here and Storm and all the horses are here now. Might have to try and put that uh, blanket on him again. Just to see if I can do it today. But I don't think so. He's going to run off again. Alright guys, I did it. I caught Storm. I caught Storm who was a naughty boy. You're a naughty boy. Caught him and put his blanket on. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to come back tonight now. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's getting a bit rambunctious here because all the horses are you know, going to the new hay bale. It's funny, they see a new hay bale and then they decide to go to it. Anyways, let's go see what Gabby's doing. See, no running today for you. Just have to let me put your blanket on. 
I think it's you. I think when you're out there, he runs away because he thinks he's going to be working. I think you're the key. You don't be out there. When you gotta, you don't be out there when you got to catch storm. Let somebody else catch storm. And then he'll run away from everybody after. Are you just like flatting him yep. today? Yep. Look, Abby's going to flat today. I'm here with Finn and Gabby setting up some poles. He's going to do some flat work with poles. Snow just fell off the roof. See all the snow up there? That's a lot of pieces to fall off the roof. <laughs> you can hear it falling down. It's going to fall. The pieces there has been chipping away and falling. It's going to fall any second now. <laughs> Might. Pieces of it. Oh, that pieces of it is going. All arenas have snow on them, even like regular ones with. Yeah, the metal roofs are actually noisier. It's falling. Here comes a big piece. It's falling. Let's watch Finn. Baby spooks. Savings corner is scary, and you know why? Because of the snow. All that's gonna fall down as we're riding. Yeah, so we picked the worst time of day, but the best time, so they get used to it. Get used to the spookiness. Tired of talking And I need more of a show right now It's time that you made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other every day Big patch there is going down slowly. Yeah, it's going down slow. saying Finn is like a border collie, really smart. Really smart. says that this is his struggling way to canter and he struggles not to buck her off either. <laughs>
Well, he did pretty good, didn't he? Yeah. He did pretty good, then. He taught Tony on how to frame. He taught himself. We just sat on him one day and he was like, frame. Good job, Finny boy. You're done. Yeah. <clears throat> Mom and I want to shave him because, like, just underneath his neck. Because he gets so sweaty on his neck. All right, cool him out. Hi right, guys, I'm back at home. It's time to bring the ponies in, and today I'm gonna see if Penny will walk slow into her stall. Well, let's see if it happens. Supper, supper time. Uh oh. Good job, Penny. Good job. Well, that was kind of slow. Kind of slow, Penny. You're getting there. You're getting there. Yep, you can eat your food. Eat your supper. Well, that worked out pretty good. So, you know, a couple more nights of walking her slow and we should be good as gold. Anyways, that's it for today's video. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?